Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we are talking the anatomy of a good email. Now I am Amy, I am a 20 plus year digital marketing veteran and it's my job to help you get the most out of your digital channels. Now often an email is the very first one-on-one -on -one interaction you are going to have with a potential customer after they give you their information. So it's very important that you get this first interaction right. Now I like to break the anatomy of a good email down into four parts. And the first part of a good email is the subject line. Now, why is the subject line so important? The subject line is so important because if you can't get someone to open the email that you're sending them, then you can't get them to purchase anything from you. Now, when you're looking at the subject line, you wanna make sure that you use something that entices the reader to actually open the email. A lot of the time, you either want to include a pain point in the subject line or a benefit of the product that you're trying to sell the person in that subject line. The second part to a good email is the body copy. Now, the body copy is what is actually going to walk that potential customer on their journey to purchase. So, you wanna first make sure that you introduce the product, you then want to make sure that you show the features and benefits of that product. A good idea is to then highlight how this product has helped other customers who are similar to the person that you're marketing to. And then last but certainly not least is the call to action. You want to make sure that you have that call to action in the bot body of that email. The third thing that is important to have in a good email is the visuals. You want to make sure that the visuals that you're using represent the text that you are giving to the potential buyer. So all the visuals you put in your email should help with selling the product. So a, you don't want to put a picture of an apple when you are selling oranges. So keep that in mind. You want to make sure that your visuals support the text that is within the body of the email. The last part to a good email, which is something we touched upon a few minutes ago, is the call to action. You want to make sure that you have a strong call to action in every email that you send to your potential customer. Now, what are you doing with that call to action? You are trying to drive them to purchase or you are trying to drive them to learn more information about the product that you're trying to sell them. Those are the two things that you're trying to do with this call to action. Now, why are there two different things? There are two different scenarios here because you either have someone who is ready to purchase or you have someone who is not as low in that buyer's journey. They are still trying to discover your product to make sure it's the right fit for them. So you wanna make sure that you have the right call to action for the potential customer that you are targeting. So that is very important. Now we've gone over the four parts to a good email and I just want to make sure that you understand when you are crafting your emails, you are looking at that buyer's journey. And we touched on this in the call to action a few minutes ago. You wanna make sure that you are giving the potential buyer the correct information for where they are in their purchasing journey. So you don't want to hit them with a buy now button or a buy now call to action if they are not ready to buy. If this is a product or service that is going to take a little bit longer for them to digest the information that you are giving them. You wanna make sure that you have a call to action that is more like a, a learn more or see how it works, something that's a softer call to action so that then they take it upon themselves to go and find out more about the product. It's just important that you understand your buyer's journey when you're making your emails so that you can make sure that you give them the right calls to action so that you are leading them down that path to purchase. Now, before we wrap up, let's just go over those four parts to the email one more time. First, you wanna make sure you have a good subject line. You wanna make sure that your body copy is supporting your path to purchase. You wanna make sure that your visuals are representing the text that is in your body copy. And you wanna make sure that you have the right call to action within your email. Now, if you follow these four things, you are on the path to having a great email. Now, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, please remember to like and subscribe. We thank you for watching and we hope to see you next time.